everybody, thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at Unified Communications Manager and how to actually collect and retrieve a packet capture from Unified Communications Manager. This could be helpful for troubleshooting, for diagnosing problems, for seeing you know what uh, what's happening from a signaling perspective inside of your system. So with that being said, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and let's dive into it. All right, so to get started, you're gonna to wanna to dive into the command line interface of CUCM. Uh, I am going to do that via SSH. So uh, let's go ahead and SSH into that system. You wanna use the OS admin password to get into that. Once you are logged in, we're going to use the utils network capture command. And uh, let me bring that up here for you right now. Utils network capture. And you can see it will capture everything. We're gonna pause that. Obviously that's a lot of information. Uh, so that is capturing and outputting to the terminal similar to how TCP dump would do. We actually want to qualify this a little bit more and actually dump it to a file so that we can offload it and then uh, you know do, do a little bit more uh, due diligence on it so if you hit the question mark you can see we have a couple options here there's the formatting of this is is not great in my opinion but uh, uh, you can page the output if you want to show it to the screen you have the option to, to do some things uh, make it numeric so here you can see the host name of the system we can uh, we can make that numeric uh, instead there's the count number of packets to capture uh, and here you can see some of the uh, maximums for that. We will use that in the command we're going to craft uh, here to, to capture. The size, the number of bytes uh, to capture. Uh, I am going to use the all command because we want to see all traffic no matter if it's a small packet, large packet, uh, you name it. And then there's some filtering options. Source address, destination address, port number, host, uh, protocol address this this one will actually use I'll show you show you that this is kind of my favorite because normally I'm troubleshooting communications in both directions between CUCM and a phone for instance uh, and uh, then there is the uh, the verbose output option which is uh, even more verbose than the uh, the stuff that you saw above here so let's go ahead and build this out uh, first of all I'm gonna call out a file let's call it cap 01 for capture we will do a count of 10,000 packets, size, all sizes, IP host, uh, and we want to we want to look at traffic from the IP host of uh, 10.100.112.100, and that is an IP phone on my network. So this command uh, kind of shows you a little bit of a uh, little bit of all that when you hit enter. When you hit enter, up oh, I have an error in it. I think I have something out of order. So I need to do host IP. There we go. When you hit enter, you will see the uh, filtering and some of the options actually displayed here. This is uh, this is actually actively capturing, and since it's capturing to a file, it's not uh, scrolling on the screen. So uh, we'll let that run for a moment. When we're done, you can hit Control C. That will end that capture and then uh, and then we can go and check out the file so there's a couple different ways that you can pull this file down uh, first is with the CLI and this is probably the most flexible um, you can also do it with RTMT which I will show you here in a little bit but first let's take a look at uh, where this file is stored and uh, kind of go from there so file list this is actually considered an act active uh, active log under platform, platform, and uh, CLI, and we'll qualify the date and details with this. So here you can see I have a couple different files here, different capture uh, files. Uh, CAP01, you can see it has, uh, has a little size to it because there was some traffic there that was captured. Uh, so that's it, that's the file. Um, we can offload one or many of these with a CLI command, which is file get. Let's hit a question mark on that. You can see you can see some details there. File get active log. 
and uh, we want to do uh, this this path platform CLI and uh, we'll actually specify cap 01 dot cap this will prompt us to offload using SFTP Hit yes you specify the server we'll go ahead and do that uh, we will specify a username Cool, and there the transfer is complete. After you have exported the file, you can go to uh, the, the location you moved it to. I moved it to the downloads folder on my Mac. One thing that's worth mentioning is it does uh, give you the folder structure that is typical of um, you know exporting when you export files from the system. So uh, you wanna drill down through here, go to platform, CLI, and there'll be a .cap file there. Again, same name that we used on the system. In some cases, to open with Wireshark, you do need the .pcap extension, but uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and open that up when you're ready. Give it a moment to load, and uh, you'll see the dialog. We've sourced uh, or filtered by 10.100.112.100, which is a, uh, an IP phone on my network. You can see there is a SIP register message and uh, some other supporting dialogue uh, and then 10.100.112.11 which is my unified communications manager pull down these same files from the rtmt tool you want to go to the left hand side of rtmt make sure on the system tab uh, here and uh, look for trace and log central it's going to give you the option uh, or a couple options here you want to look at collect files uh, there is uh, nothing for us on the first page, so we'll hit next. There is then a packet capture log option, which uh, you have to hunt for. It's toward the bottom. Packet capture logs, here we go. Uh, you want to select the server individually. In this case, I have just a single server in the cluster, but uh, either way, you want to pick out that system on an individual basis. Click next. Uh, from here, you can choose time of day. I'm actually going to do relative range and just do, uh, I don't know, the past 20 minutes. I believe this would have happened in the past 20 minutes, so we'll do that. Um, you then can specify your directory. Let's just do capture as a new folder on the desktop. Again, this is a Mac, so uh, your platform may vary a little bit. Click open. Um, you can, uh, I always pick do not compress just because I'm going to uh, tear into this and, and take a look. Uh, hit finish. The system will take a moment to, uh, to process that and get those files pulled down for you. But uh, once that's done, we can hop over and uh, open it up. Keep an eye here in the lower left hand corner for the status. There we go. We can see that that is completed. Once your capture is complete, you can simply open up the file. You're going to notice that same folder structure that we had before. Uh, again, you do need to rename that file to .pcap for Wireshark to recognize it. I suppose you could probably register a different extension if you were so inclined. But uh, yeah, go ahead and, and open it up. And um, yeah, here you're going to see that, that same trace that we had downloaded before. If you'd like to come back to CUCM to actually clear out those capture files, uh, you really don't need them after you're done troubleshooting, you can actually come back. We'll just list out those files. Um, again, active... Oops. Uh, so we get them listed out here. We can see the full list. I have a number of them on here. We can actually go ahead and delete them either individually or in bulk. So file, delete, active log, uh, and then the, the path, CLI. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of wildcard this for all of them. You are prompted to uh, delete them individually, which is kind of nice just to avoid screwing anything up. And uh, that's it. So you can hop back up through and see now that we are uh, clear of all those capture files. 
hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to get a packet capture from Unified Communications Manager. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments section below. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.